Hi, I'm Ranger Taylor. The Comte de Rochambeau was born in France on July 1st, 1725, the youngest son of an old aristocratic family. Though trained for service in the Catholic Church in his youth, Rochambeau ultimately chose a career in the French army. After joining a cavalry regiment in his teenage years, Rochambeau rose through the ranks over the course of multiple conflicts. During the War of Austrian Succession, he served as an aide-de-camp for a number of prominent generals and eventually achieved the rank of colonel. By the time of the American War of Independence, Rochambeau had built a respectable reputation through which he was granted command of the French army in the infant United States. His forces spent most of 1780 at Newport, Rhode Island, waiting for French reinforcements and supplies. When the support failed to materialize, he moved his army to join General Washington outside of New York City in 1781. There, he helped Washington prepare an attack on the city while also trying to convince Admiral de Grasse to sail to the Chesapeake Bay. When de Grasse did so, Rochambeau helped Washington lead the Allied forces to Yorktown, where he provided invaluable advice, having experience from a total of 14 sieges in the previous wars of Europe. After the British surrender, Rochambeau remained in Virginia for one more year before returning to France at the beginning of 1783, where King Louis XVI granted him a number of rewards for his service. As the French Revolution began, he sought to remain politically neutral and was actually made a Marshal of France in 1791. During the Reign of Terror, however, he was arrested as a suspect and narrowly escaped the guillotine before eventually being released. Pensioned by Napoleon Bonaparte, he retired to his estate in honor and respect until his death on May 10, 1807.